What's up, guys? Coach Forrest Jackson, linebacker's coach, Tuskegee University. Hey, going to take you in a day of my life. Uh, today's the first day that we're meeting for the 2019 season. A uh, lot going on uh, within the staff. Going to have you meet everybody. Uh, going to do a little bit of things here and there, but I hope you enjoy what you see. At the London. If you find time, we can run one. Talk about some things we can undo. You just in the pen, I can find you. Six one on the money, nine two. You just say the word and I run through. Two texts, no reply, that's when I knew. I knew, I knew, yeah, I knew. I crush down with your money. 44 times, won't play. Don't you Yeah, so first up, this is the uh, 2015 championship. That's when uh, we were ranked number 15 in the nation, and we went to the Elite Eight and played West Georgia and lost in the regional finals. Um, below that is uh, my All-American wall. This is the, the first All-American, well, second All-American that I had at Tuskegee, but he is Mr. Everything. That was uh, Joe Ratliff. My first All-American was Quavon Taylor. All right, and that's him right here. Uh, he was all American and then back to back all American in 2016, 2017. Osman Thompson Jr. Um, both of these guys were the conference player of the year. So, what an awesome job was to coach those guys. And then below that, you know, I got my own little accolades when I played ball in my West Georgia days, my Illinois State days. This is also Illinois State. That was my first ever football game. Caught an interception for a touch. Well, I got tackled at the one yard line. It's not a touchdown, but <laughs> another story for another day. One of West Georgia pitchers, my late Uncle George, he just passed uh, about a month ago, a little bit over a month ago. So it's been really tough for me um, from that standpoint. But this is this year's poster. You know, 2019, moving forward. And then let me tell you about this poster. All right, so this is my uh, my diagram of the of the first football and how they built the inner linings of it and all that type of stuff. I keep this on my on my wall just to to remind myself when everything gets tough and 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 you know you're in a tough situation and football wise, just always go back to the fundamentals. How does it all start? It starts the fundamentals, tackling, blocking. And getting that ball on the ground, getting that ball back for the offense, all those little things. So, just helps me remember that. And uh, and then on the wall next to it, just some players of the past. Okay, uh, right now, this guy right here is my starting wheel linebacker. Okay, and just some other guys I haven't updated yet because I spent a lot of time in Florida summer dealing with my uncle stuff. But um, yeah. I also got a 90-page linebacker intro section, which I revamped this year. And, um, you know, it's got a lot of information. I mean, a lot of information, but I can't show that to you right now. What's up, y'all? On my way to work. I live in Montgomery, so I got about a 30-minute drive to get to Tuskegee. Today is our first meeting for the season as a coaching staff. Things we talk about on the first day are like, is everybody clear to come in? Are they financially clear? Do they have their, their class schedule in? You know, um, do they have their FAFSAs and their financial aid taken care of? Do they have their housing? It's a real long process, but, you know, every coach has to do this because uh, nothing's worse than when the kid reports and he can't move into the dorms or do whatever because he doesn't have all his stuff taken care of. So we try to give him Lisa. A 10 day well we've been doing all summer but these are the last final 10 days where we get on them and um try to get them right so that's what we're gonna do hopefully i can stop for some breakfast breakfast of champions <laughs> that's the man willie slater head football coach it's your 12th season coach 13th 14th season 
Gotcha. Coach Kirk, we like to see what the housing update is. No, it was already in. We had 11 guys last time I checked that needed a room. And before I left, he put four of them guys in the room. So we had like a total of like eight guys left that needed a room. Ken Hike, hey man, introduce yourself to the people. I'm Ken Hike, Jr., senior defensive back from Atlanta, Georgia. It's on set, you know, represent. And I'm just here, ready for the season. Been grinding all summer, putting on weight, doing what I got to do. It's going to be a beautiful season. Okay, one last question. From a leadership standpoint, what are you going to do to make sure that we're on the right path this year? I'll hold everybody accountable. And when I say hold everybody accountable, I mean hold myself accountable too. If I'm doing what I'm supposed to do on a day-to-day -day basis, then I can be that visual of what you need to do so you can get where you're going. Then I can lead by example by spending out some motivation and helping guys who lack in certain areas. But other than that, just hold everybody accountable. You do your job is one out of the 11, we're going to win. Yeah, so... Every day, one of our players, Callie James, he's a senior defensive lineman for us. He uh, he writes a daily uh, devotion, which I read and and really take and reflect on. And so I'm gonna share that with you today. But that's um, just one of the things I do to um, for spiritual enlightenment. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It's not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. This verse is the definition of God's love for us. Let's have an outstanding Wednesday. Know that God loves us, loves you no matter what. God keeps no record of our wrongs. He is not human. What a merciful God we serve. Let's spread the love to one another as God does for us. Don't hold grudges. Instead, love. We have already won the victory on this day through Jesus Christ who had came before us. We just... We just have to believe. Be unstoppable today. Dominate. Yeah. That's what he, he writes something beautiful like that every single day. And I really appreciate it. And that's our D lineman, Kali James. What's up, Coach? Here. Morning, morning, morning. Coach Hamlin, defensive back coach. Yeah, that's all you got for me? Okay, give me your background, dog. Give me your background. Where you from, man? Where you from? Tell the people hey, where you from. Man. I'm humble about it, man. But you know, the Slater era, man, best corner to come through. Yeah. Ain't no doubt. But who'd you play for, like uh, uh, after Tuskegee? Man, I did a little something. I ain't go too far, man. Free agent, Cleveland Browns. Uh huh. Um, left there, I went to Montreal Alouettes. Okay. Got cut. Nothing wrong with that. But I finished up with five years in the AFL. Yeah. What teams you play for in uh, Arena Ball? Arena Ball, Chicago Rush, Milwaukee Mustangs. Orlando Predators, Tampa Bay Storm with Coach with Coach Samuels, mm -hmm. um, and the Cleveland Gladiators. I got you. I got you. you. Know, I kind of know what I'm doing a little bit. You know, I've been around. Uh, man, I'm happy to be home, man. I remember uh, when you played for the Rush, and me and my son came to see you play uh, the Georgia Force. Mm -hmm. Why you cut your hair, dog? Oh man, it's about that time, man. You know, it's kind of it was a growth thing. Uh, you know? I was Hannah back then, you know. I'm, what do you coach, I'm coach now. Coach Hannah you know, now, huh? I changed it up a little bit, man, you know. But. Getting ready to get these guys in on August the 10th. Uh huh. Ready to break down this film, look at some more film, and get these guys ready. And let's get ready to roll this season. It's almost go time. Joseph L. Carter, defensive coordinator, safeties coach. First meeting of the season, what you got for the camera, coach? Back on the grind, baby. And that's it, huh? Kelvin Powell, Tuskegee alum, played some Canadian ball. <laughs> I see we got another grumpy one in my documentary. Coach, how long did you play Canadian ball? Four years. Four years, all with the Eskimos? And one with Hamilton. One with Hamilton, the Tiger Cats. Okay, I got you. D line extraordinaire, recruiting extraordinaire. You wear any other hats, coach?
kid I know that mom would put credit in their name and stuff the whole time he was in school. That's what I. That's what they And then as soon as he finished up, they go make sure he can go get any car you want. And I, I didn't have to sign by myself. I know, cause your parents. But you, you, you gonna, you still, you still got the Camaro, right? Oh yeah, I still, yeah.